Hi everyone and welcome back to Classic Gamer 74. I am Anthony Gamer. Edutainment is a term that is used to describe games that are both educational and fun. Uh, in past episodes I referred to these as kids and learning games, but let's just use the cool term edutainment uh, from here on out. In the summer of 1984, uh, my elementary school got a bunch of Apple IIe computers. Of course, they were passed out only to the teachers, as computer labs were not a thing quite yet. Along with having uh, lots of cool programs that some of the teachers utilized, like a great, a great book program and uh, a program that made uh, tests, uh, there were also some software that were included on these computers for us kids to use, uh, edutainment games. Uh, and no other company said edutainment like Sunburst. Over 40 years now, Sunburst has made some of the best edutainment games of, in the world, I would have to honestly say. However, these games aren't always available to the general public. Uh, even back in those days, quite a few of the edutainment games that was made by Sunburst and other game companies were only available to educators. As a matter of fact, to this day, you still cannot get Sunburst games as they are. Yes, they're still in business unless you, your school has an account with them. But today we're going to look back on some of those great Sunburst games that were around back when I was a boy. Our first game for today is Bounce. Now this game stresses memorization and helping children to learn patterns. Uh, Short-term memory is the key here. As you follow a bouncy ball going from one to three patterns to even higher. It is a game that is adjustable, like many of the other games that I will discuss today, uh, to fit each child's educational level. The next game we have is Discover. Now in this game, you are taking on the role of a scientist. Some aliens have been brought back from outer space, and your job is to take care of them. Uh, this teaches children responsibility of having a pet, as well as different problem-solving activities. And our next game is For Your Adventure. In this game, you take on the role of a human who is helping a robot that escaped from a robot factory. He needs to get back inside because there's a bad robot that needs to have his circuits changed. Your job is to guide him through the factory up into where the robot is, and then he will take it from there in helping to reprogram the robot. Now, like other adventure games, you have the ability to act. Uh, you type in simple commands like look, take, pick up, and things like that. Then you have move. Now, to move in this game, you have to learn how to move on an X, Y axis. Uh, this helps children with geometry skills as well as helping them with math-related skills. It's really a fun game, and it takes quite a while to figure it out. But luckily, like many adventure games from then and now, you have the ability to save, and the child can start back where they left off. And our last game for today is called Challenge Math, and there are three parts to it. You have Alien Intruder, Digitosaurus, and Math Mansion. Three really fun games that help children to learn to improve their math skills. So we'll, let's take a look at each one of them. Now in this game, you are trying to answer math questions as quickly as possible. Uh, you are trying to protect your flower from this mean old alien, and the best way to stop him is to answer your math questions as quickly as possible. If you get a question wrong or you don't get the answer quick enough, the alien takes part of your flower away. Uh, the difficulty of this can be adjusted from simple math all the way up to advanced math. In Digitosaurus, you are trying to determine which of the three math questions are the largest. Once you determine which one is the largest, then you answer the math question. The smaller questions are stomped on by your friend, the dinosaur, who you get to name. As time goes on, the dinosaur gets older and the questions get more difficult. And, like the previous game, you can adjust the difficulty for the child's age level. And I've saved the best for last. This is Math Mansion. In this game, you are stuck in a haunted mansion and you're trying to find your way out. In order to get out of here, you have to answer math questions at different levels of difficulty. You also have to pick up certain items and there's a pattern 
of directions that you have to go in order to make your way out. Of all the games on this list, this is my particular favorite, um, as I've always been interested in ghosts and haunted stuff and things like that. Although I'm not really that great at math, it did help me in my younger years uh, to help improve my math skills. So, oh, if you're around my age, or if you're just checking out the video, what is your favorite Sunburst game? Let me know about it in the comments section below. Also, please share some memories you have of playing uh, these games on the computer at school, and maybe about your first experiences with a computer. I'd really like to know what you have to say. In our next episode, we're going to continue with a holiday tradition, and we are going to present Christmas games. Well, that brings us to the end of another episode. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click that little bell icon down there so you'll be notified when I upload new episodes. Well, until next time, I am Anthony Gamer, and I really appreciate you guys stopping by, and I will see you all in the next episode. Until then, be safe, be strong, be healthy, and above all, be kind to each other. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.